Hi, I'm Dr. Scott Barnes and I'm the Chief Medical Officer at Star Surgical. Before joining Star, I was the ophthalmology consultant to the U.S. Army Special Operations Command. I was in the position to evaluate the implantable columnar lens and its performance in some of the most elite units in the military. We've implanted thousands of ICLs in Green Berets, Army Rangers, paratroopers, combat divers, freefall parachutists, in addition to many infantry, artillery, and tankers. For all of these individuals, their vision is critically important. I recommended and I performed ICL procedures instead of LASIK and PRK on some of our most elite soldiers because of the unique demands of their position and the fact that in every way we could measure performance, ICLs were simply outstanding. After my time at Fort Bragg, I joined the team at Star Surgical because I was excited to be part of bringing the phenomenal success of ICL vision correction that we experienced for our military personnel to all people seeking vision correction in the U.S. and around the world. I personally believe that Evo ICL is the highest quality option for improving patients' vision for those who meet on-label indications. It's my hope that this series of videos will help you make an informed choice with your doctor when considering your own vision correction decision. I was able to sit down and chat with one of the first eye surgeons to receive the EVO ICL procedure in the United States, Dr. Steven Tersini. Hello, Dr. Tersini. Can you introduce and tell us a little bit about yourself? Hi, I'm Dr. Steven Tersini. I'm a LASIK and EVO ICL vision correction surgeon in Portland, Oregon. I've lived all over the U.S. while I was obtaining my medical and surgical training in eye surgery and specifically vision correction surgery. And in one of my previous practices, I was able to be involved in the FDA study to approve the EVO ICL lens in the United States. I live in Portland with my wife and five kids, and I've had EVO ICL surgery myself. Yeah, that's wonderful. How long have you been practicing? So I've been practicing as a LASIK and ICL vision correction surgeon for a number of years now. My first job out of my fellowship training was at a world-class center in St. Louis where I was able to do a lot of surgery right out of the gate. And we were actually among the highest volume centers for ICL implantation in the United States. After that, my wife and I wanted to come home to Oregon to be closer to the family and to bring the same level of care to the people of Oregon that we were providing in St. Louis. So we set up a practice in Portland and that's where we've been ever since. And how many vision correction procedures have you done? At this point, I've lost count, really, and it's hard to even keep track anymore. But I performed thousands of vision correction procedures that run the gamut from laser-based procedures like LASIK to lens-based procedures like EVO ICL. Wow, sounds like you've done it all. So, why did you choose the EVO ICL? Well, obviously, I took my decision very seriously. I'd been juggling glasses and dealing with contact lenses for most of my life. And with my active lifestyle and with my family and kids and my job, the hassle of glasses and contacts was just getting in the way. Earlier in my career, when I was involved in the clinical trials for EVO ICL, I had the opportunity to see and manage a lot of patients who had received EVO ICL. And their results were so outstanding that I knew this was the procedure for me. And the fact that I knew that EVO ICL would be a fast procedure without much downtime, you know, with my practice and with my family, that kind of speed and effectiveness was really attractive to me. Plus, since EVO ICLs can be removed by a doctor if ever needed, that helped me feel comfortable making the choice. So many of my patients say exactly that same thing. But let's say you have kind of a nervous patient. What's something that you would tell them to kind of ease their concerns over the whole procedure? Yeah, I think it's natural to be nervous about any surgical operation, especially one on your eyes. I always let my patients know that EVO ICL doesn't require any corneal tissue to be removed and that EVO ICL doesn't cause dry eye syndrome. Not to mention that over 2 million ICLs have been distributed worldwide and that in a patient satisfaction survey, 99.4% said that they would have the procedure again. And then I would just let them know that in the rare case that they aren't happy with the lenses, they're removable by your doctor. That's a great benefit to the EVO ICL procedure, and that can give you a lot of peace of mind. Other than that, I tell them to ask me anything that comes to mind. I always try to be completely open and honest with my patients. Was there anything else specifically about the EVO ICL that really convinced you to undergo the procedure? Eyeglasses and contacts had been a necessary but bothersome part of my life ever since I was a teenager, and my contact lenses always left me with dry and irritated eyes. Doing what I do for a living, I obviously had been thinking about corrective procedures for a while. And you know, seeing the clinical results regarding the safety and performance of the EVO ICL from around the world, and then confirmed by the US clinical study, gave me a lot of assurance. 
but it was really by seeing the success of the patients from the study firsthand, and of course from observing how the lenses performed in my own patients, in addition to me knowing the details and anatomy of my own eyes, Evo ICL really felt like the perfect procedure for me to get sharp, clear vision without the hassles of glasses or contacts. Plus, since Evo ICLs can be removed by a doctor later on if ever needed, I really felt comfortable making the choice. So could you walk me through your entire Evo ICL experience from the first appointment to the actual procedure? So my colleague in St. Louis performed the surgery. I first had some measurements taken out here in Oregon, but I didn't want to wait a second longer than I had to. So the day that Evo ICL was approved, I flew down to LA to pick up my lenses directly from Star and then took a red eye flight from LA to St. Louis and had the procedure done the first thing that morning. I was a little nervous, but it was really easy and it was really cool being able to experience having the procedure done on myself after having been on the surgeon's side of the microscope so many times before. It was super quick. I think it took about seven minutes for each eye for me. Right afterwards, my eyes did sting a little bit, but I could already tell that my vision was way better. I went and I took about a two hour nap, and then when I woke up, my eyes felt totally normal and my vision was so good that I remember telling my wife that I could easily see well enough to operate right then. And that was only two hours after the procedure. I did take about two days off from work, but I didn't feel like I really needed it. And ever since, it's been great. It's so nice to wake up and just see and not have to worry about glasses fogging up when I'm operating or contacts getting irritated. I can go swimming with my kids and I can see them. I can wrestle around with them and not need to be concerned that my glasses will break. And just not having to deal with all the extra life stuff that comes with contacts is so great. You know, a couple weeks ago, we went down to Disneyland as a family and I brought some contacts for my son to wear on the rides so that he wouldn't lose his glasses. And as I was helping him do that, I was just like, man, I already forgot how annoying it is to have to deal with all this. Just to have that not be a part of my life anymore is amazing. So what was your recovery like then? My recovery was quick and basically painless. Almost immediately, I was seeing clearly, and in 48 hours, I was fully recovered and back at work. I was shocked and pleasantly surprised by how quick and easy the Evo ICL procedure and the recovery for it was for myself. There was a slight discomfort in my eyes right after the operation, but that went away completely after I took a nap. When I say that the procedure was smooth, that's an understatement. Well, that's great to hear. So? Would you recommend Evo ICL to your patients? Oh, absolutely, and I do often. Now that Evo ICL is FDA approved in the United States, I've been recommending it to my patients who are interested and eligible for it. In fact, it's one of the most common procedures that I perform. It is truly a breakthrough surgery that has improved my own vision and my day-to-day -day life so much. Hey, thank you for your time, Dr. Tersini. I really appreciate you taking a moment to kind of share your personal experience with the Evo ICL. Hopefully, an eye surgeon's personal experience is helpful to show you that Evo ICL could be the right procedure for you. If you're ready to start on a journey into visual freedom, follow the link in the description to find an Evo ICL doctor near you. If you still have more questions, check out some of my other videos on Evo ICL and how it can change the way you see the world, or go to the Evo YouTube channel.